Creative initiative is the path of every human spirit. Every one of us must at some point in life leave the crowd and head off into the uncharted wilderness of our heart. Chinky 51, with the shadow of agitation and the city of awakening, and it's the path of initiative. My wisdom story. When I was just a toddler, several monks appeared at our door. After vigorous testing, I was recognized as the incarnation of a spiritual master. My parents were not religious people. They were shocked, but too subservient and cowardly to fight for me. I never forget crying as I was taken away from my mother. For one year, I was bathed in love and attention by my appointed teacher. I loved him so much. He always showed me pictures of my parents, reminding me of our connection. But one day, our monastery was brutally attacked by hostile soldiers who hated our people. My beloved teacher was killed. Before I knew what had happened, I was swept up into the arms of another monk. We escaped through the mountains and arrived in another monastery. Though well cared for, I was terribly jumpy and nervous. I had trouble focusing on my studies. It was hard to trust anyone. My mind and heart understood I was safe, but my body didn't. It was always on guard and desperate to release its agitation. Violence wasn't an option, so my mind took over. I became obsessed with moving up the ranks in a monastery and constantly reminded myself that I was special because I was chosen so early. I was determined to be the first of my peers to awaken. To my peers, I seemed fearless, disciplined and precocious, but deep down I was traumatized. Thankfully, my new teacher saw the terror in me and understood the shock I'd been through. He always knew that shock would be one of my greatest teachers. One day it would help me release the false security of the ego, accept the certainty of death and awaken to oneness. But he also wisely knew I was too young to understand this. Instead of a lecture, he gave me a paintbrush, a canvas and the freedom to whatever I wanted. His instruction was simple, follow your heart. The first stroke I felt like jumping off a cliff, but soon I was filling the canvas with colors and symbols unlike anything seen before. My body relaxed, I made friends and lost interest in competition. At first I believed I was creating something new through the art, but now I know I am only discovering and retracing an eternal truth. There is no need to bring something new to the canvas, only to unveil the canvas itself. My gift to you. I am not here to lead you, I am here to initiate you. It is time to step off the beaten track, release everything you would ever been taught and embrace entirely new way of being. Though you may stand upon the shoulders of others, in the end only you can take the leap. There is no safety net, no way to avoid fear. If you want to transcend fear, move through it. Honor your creative impulses, wherever they take you. Let your all-filled heart lead you back to your own heart. Good fortune is inevitable when you trust the love inside of you. If you do have a need to compete, do not compete with others. Follow your competitive urges into your own creativity and soon you will find competition replaced by deeply fulfilling collaboration. And now some questions you can ask yourself to deepen your contemplation. Do your fears keep you feeling agitated, hopeless or shut down? Do you shy away from life or do you engage in risky behaviors? Does your competitive drive get in the way of your relationships? Do you ever draw out the hostility in others and not know why? Think of a time you faced a fear and experienced breakthrough. What were you afraid of? What and who gave you courage? What leap are you being called to take at this time of your life? Find a creative way to explore an unknown. That's it. Much love and happy contemplating.